Hey everyone, it's Dave here, and welcome to Rainbow Reactor Fusion Overview. I feel like I've seen the game like that before, give me a minute. So there was like a predecessor to it like two years ago, and that would make sense because I started seeing that like when I barely discovered what's virtual reality, and now it's coming as a sequel, I presume? So Rainbow Reactor Fusion is sort of a puzzle adventure game where you listen to the grumpy robot Duddy and fulfill tasks in the power plant, I guess in some sort of a job simulator way. This like screams indie project to me, in a way that I want to be supportive of it and other things but for some reason I don't feel really the concept because you'll be running around the station repairing things and then in the meantime you'll color match hexagonal puzzles like as a some sort of intermission between the reapers and climbing up the building. I guess I'm kind of confused for who this game is because it's not very straightforward what to do there. It says there is some story to it but the core gameplay I don't feel it. It's quite interesting that it's the second game from the series so I guess it means the first one was a success and now this is like an entry to the quest store is just that when I scroll the list for example every kind of title has its own unique thing going on like it brings something new to the store but I'm kind of worried about this project to be honest that is just gonna wash away in the lights of other bigger projects and it's just gonna be forgotten I guess I just hope the content will be more interesting than the concept huh? Hello, my dear distant relative. It is I, Alfred Lucian von Hoffenhasselbrock. Welcome to Rain City. As you know, this whole district is entirely powered by our Rainbow Reactor. But something terrible has happened for which I am to blame. The reactor has fallen into disrepair and soon the first blackouts will occur. We will lose our contract, but even worse, the citizens of Rain City will suffer a huge energy crisis. Only you can make things right, because I have done enough damage already. Unfortunately, you will have to work with Dotty, the factory manager. Don't be put off by her grumpy nature, she doesn't mean it. You'll have to earn her trust, and this is the reason I cannot simply tell you what has happened. She would know right away if you know what I know, and then she'd just throw you out. At least I was able to leave some inconspicuous hints for you. So if you can, please power up the reactor step by step and save Rain City. If you have done that and you still have the strength to go on, you could even uncover my mortifying secret and save our family. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Auf Wiedersehen! Um, alright. <laughs> Let's go to the settings first. Rotation, angle, analog. Yeah, that's smooth, okay. Story mode or arcade mode? Classically, I guess, this. So, what's going on? Hello there. Welcome <laughs> to the Rainbow Reactor. My name is Dottie. I'm in charge of running this place. Or rather, what's left of it. I see you are already wearing the smart watch we sent you. Please use it to bring up the watch menu using the X or the A button. With the arrow buttons at the top, you can flip through the menu's pages. Some pages have sub-pages, which you can browse with the two arrow buttons at the bottom. Okay, now we are ready to begin. Can I? Oh, I have to press like that, okay. This is just menu. What's going on, daddy? Oh wow, this place is huge. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to explore everything. Hello? I had no other choice but to summon you, as you are a distant relative of our founder, Professor Alfred Lucian von Hoffen Hasselbrock. Ugh, it pains me to say that name. The family has really abandoned us, as have all the humans. Anyway, let's take the tour of this sorry disaster that was once the Rainbow Reactor. Please grab this elevator control handle. What's interesting about the graphic is that some things are detailed and sharp and some are blurry like those random objects in the station. So I'm assuming what we will be able to control and discover then that will have higher graphics but then the rest will just be like a background. Of course, the elevator doesn't have a lot of power, like everything in this building. So I'm afraid the only way is down. If you say so. I should probably thank you for coming. 
But since you are a human, I have some reservations. <laughs> Humans are responsible for running the rainbow reactor into the ground. So, I hope you can fix that, human. Great. Welcome to the first floor. This is where the chroma paste would be refined, if we had any power. Everything is locked down here, even our gift shop. So what do we do? Let's leave this floor behind and get to the bottom of it all. I mean, the basement. Please ride the elevator further down. There will be a lot of levels here. Now this is the basement. It's a mess. Nothing's working. Please have a good look around to see what we can do about it. Well, we can start off with cleaning though now. <laughs> Well, it's blocked. What do you want me to do, Daddy? The start button is unpowered. Fun. Oh my god, this is full on puzzle. <laughs> As I thought, the fuse box is totally out of order. See if you can find a fuse. Can we destroy this? Like, I have to pass it somehow. Hmm, there's something. There must be something here. Yeah. That's a fuse box, okay. Great. You picked up the fuse. With your ability to touch and manipulate things, we're basically saved. Once you picked something up, look down towards your belt to see what you have. Just grab any item you want to use from there. Put that fuse into the right receptacle on the fuse box. Now, pull the handle. You did it. Now we should have enough power to start the first reactor and get to work. What the? To start your first shift, press a start button and get ready. Dang, it still doesn't work. We have no pressure on the chroma pipes. There must be some valves around here somewhere. These are the valves for cyan, magenta, and yellow chroma fuel. Please turn them up, but not too high. All the arrows have to end up in the green zone. Well, I didn't know. Oh wait, what the hell? The pressure is dropping. We got the chroma fuel flowing. Now you should be able to get to work on the reactor. To start your first shift, press a start button and get ready. Here we go. Chroma balls are emitted from the reactor. Throw those balls into the cooling pool and try to match them by their chromatic polarity. That means color. Three or more adjacent balls will cause a reaction, releasing their energy. A basic reaction. Well done. <laughs> that is so not what I'm used to play in VR. And you can make it harder for yourself as well. Okay. Give me that. This is like Zuma, if anyone remembers. It's like a very old school ball game. Shit. This is not easy. Those balls can't like fall. <laughs> uh oh. Only one strike left. Last chance. No, no. 
they should stop here like they are falling after one and another like it should have a blockade because then you could just choose but oh my god i'm not repeating the same shit over hell no these color splats are disgusting okay well as i said this concept is definitely something out of ordinary it's like very chill very subdued just running around picking parts firing up stuff like standard puzzles but then it's mixed with this zuma gameplay that is not easy at all like it relies heavily on the throwing mechanics of the game as well and like i don't know what to do about those balls like to just gently put them on the ground or something i feel like they should stop here like to have some kind of blockade to not fall down but maybe it's intentional i don't know nevertheless i not a huge fan of it there seems to be some storyline going on and stuff but i feel like i will be fine without this whole mini game gameplay and just focus on searching the parts to power up the reactor just like classically with job simulator style of games not my project not my concept